babe. I was 135.8 yesterday and I had a rest day yesterday. So what do you think my weight was this morning? 135 yesterday after rest day. Mm-hmm. 134.2. Really? Yeah. It's fun right now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, ignore my back seat. I still have like all of my bedding because I'm moving into my new apartment. Well, I'm allowed to move in today, but I'm not gonna move in until tomorrow because today is just crazy. So I moved out of my old apartment on Monday and then I couldn't move into this one until today, Friday. So I've been living at John's house for the week. I can't go see the apartment until 11, so it is 9.20. I was gonna like get up and like wash my hair because my hair desperately needs wash today. But part of me is like, girl, you got legs to train, you know? You're gonna get sweaty. Why don't you just not? But I have like, I wanna film my dry shampoo it. On the menu today, I just had to go check out the apartment. I'm gonna come home, I have a meeting at two o'clock and then I'm gonna train legs and I'll take you guys through it. It's my gluten hammy workout and I'm super excited about it. And yeah, I'm obsessed with my new gym. I'm obsessed with it. It's um, a little more like commercialized than what I'm used to, but I really like it. I really love the equipment and I always get a really good workout and the lighting is good and they have an outdoor gym and it's just, it's a vibe. So anyway, we're gonna go get coffee. I've been getting the same thing every single day since starting prep. It's like 30 or 40 calories for a grande. So I take advantage. I literally always have to order my coffee through the Starbucks app because I feel like it's too complicated to justify going through the drive-through and being like, hey, can I get this with this, 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 no that, you know what I mean? So the drive-through line is very long, so I'm gonna go inside. You already know the drill. We gotta take the empty one out, put the new one in. Look how pretty she is. It's really like that first sip. Starbucks order. I get a grande shaken espresso with almond milk, blonde espresso, two pumps of sugar-free vanilla, no classic, one pump of cinnamon dolce, and then, which I know I'm gonna have to cut out, but. And then I add a stevia and cinnamon powder because I think it tastes better, but you don't have to. You can like switch it up and do like three or four pumps of sugar-free vanilla. You can like, you know, play with it. But I saw this on TikTok like two months ago and I saved the TikTok and I was like, oh, I'll try it. And I was getting it for a while and it's been my go-to drink. And then it like blew up on TikTok. I'm so glad that more people know about this drink because it's like a lifesaver because I'm not really a fan of like doing the whole cold brew with sugar-free vanilla and almond milk because I feel like it's boring, but this is like so, so good. And it gives me all the caffeine I need. So, so I don't have my tripod. I lost it. I ordered a new one, but it's not gonna get here until tomorrow. Let me show you what I have you set up on right now. Um, so I have Tupperwares and lemon juice. So let's just hope that it doesn't fall. I feel like I haven't really talked much about like how prep is going. I want to, you know, I want to kind of talk about it. Instagram just like hasn't been it for me recently. I just feel like very discouraged using it. So I don't use it quite as much. I'm having a blast with TikTok though. So hit me up on there, follow me on there. We are eight weeks out tomorrow. It is getting down there. Honestly, prep has been flying by except for the last two weeks. Two weeks have been when I noticed the most change. So like, I don't know, the first like, what? Six, seven, eight weeks. My weight wasn't really changing for the first few weeks and it was really stressing me out because I was like, why isn't anything changing? Like, come on. Started to get like really in my head about everything. Everyone was like, you're fine. Like. Even though the scale wasn't moving, I looked different and I looked leaner. Everyone was saying like, you look fine, like you look good, you're making progress, like don't let it get in your head. And I remember um, a few people were like, wait for it, like it's gonna be a big jump, like you're gonna see your weight like drastically start to go down, you're gonna notice big changes, so like don't get in your head, it's prep goggles, you'll be fine. Last week, I didn't really notice much hunger and then last week my cows got dropped, I believe it was. And then the hunger came and I was like, all right, there it is. And then I started to like hit new low weigh-ins and I started to really like feel and see the progress. So I'm really excited about that. It's my first prep, so I don't really know what to expect, but I am in my head that I'm like not gonna be ready. But I want this so bad and I, I don't know. I'm just like really, really excited. I picked out my suit, already booked the flight and the Airbnb, trying to stay like as stress-free as humanly possible and make sure that like 
everything is prepared while I still have the energy because I know I'm not gonna have the energy in like a few weeks. Yeah, but all in all, it's been pretty good. I'm actually like really surprised at my workouts. My workouts have been good and having John there has made like a huge difference. But if I can say anything honestly, I think that the hardest part about this prep, everyone keeps telling me and John keeps telling me like, make sure you enjoy it. Make sure that you like really like live in the moment because as much as prep like sucks while you're in it and as hard as it is, you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like, wow, I wish I could do that again. And that is something that like I'm trying to do better, but having like a little bit of trouble just because John started prepping for his show in January, at the beginning of January. And you guys know that like when you're on prep, you can't go out to eat, like you can't really like go out and do much, like you don't really have the energy. So we didn't really go out at all. Like I actually started my cut in January because I was like, well, he's prepping. I wanna compete. I'm gonna start like this process just to kind of see where we're at. So he prepped, I cut January. His show was in April. He ended up doing another show in May. Then at the end of May, when his show ended, kind of had like three or four weeks where we allowed ourselves to kind of like take a break. So I went off of my cut and I went to maintenance calories and he was like in his reverse. So we would go out to eat like once a week, which was really, really nice. But then we ended up going to summer shredding in June and I saw like everything and the whole vibe. And I was like, yeah, like I want to do this. Like this is what I want to do. I enjoyed myself in Texas and out. We had like barbecue and we had like donuts and ice cream and it's like chicken and waffle fry oh it was so good we what we got seafood we lived we lived it up and so i came home and i was like i feel like i'm good and i'm ready to prep so my show is in october so as much as i'm really excited and i want to enjoy the process i am definitely like looking forward to being able to have that balance again with him and like be able to being able to like be a normal couple that like goes out to eat but honestly that's just like the name of the game when you're in like a relationship with another competitor it really helps and we both love this lifestyle we both understand it we're both there for each other and i couldn't ask for anything better really so yeah, honestly that's probably like the only mental thing that you know sucks but it's the name of the game you know you know what you're getting into so i think i'm burning my food i've decided that i'm not going to show you what I eat right now because following a meal plan from my coach and this is like not sustainable and not healthy. Okay, so excuse the awkward angle and I have to be quiet because it's like really small, but I just got my keys. I'm about to go in. I've never seen this apartment. I didn't tour before I applied. So I'm nervous, but we're gonna react to She's cute. Okay. So here's our living room, kitchen area. Got some storage space in here. Kitchen. Oh, this is so cute. Get like a little office space here. Bathroom. It's like really nice coming from the studio apartment to have like, like this is like, this is nice. That means, right? You know what that means, right? It's wiggle time. Every time he gets home from work, he does this like wiggle test with Maverick. You ready? You gotta hold his elbows. Wiggle, 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 mm, We love you, Maverick. <laughs> we love you. That poor cat. Mm -hmm, we love you. I just ate my chicken and rice and asparagus. And now I have to pick out a gym fit. This is like the hardest part because I'm so indecisive. I did order four new pairs of Amplify shorts when Alphalete had that drop. So I'm thinking I'm gonna wear one of those and try to matchy match it, so. Okay, so I decided on this color for the Amplifies and I'm really excited. And then I was gonna wear this one, even though it's like not the same blue, but then I found that one and it's like almost the same blue. You see that? The only issue is that it's like really wrinkly, but honestly, I don't really care because it matches really well. <laughs> Yeah, I've had way too much caffeine today, so. Oh yeah, that's fine. Just take my favorite shaker. That's okay. I've been 
taking the raw nutrition pre because I've had an absurd amount of caffeine today. Watermelon. Code Kiri. It's the pre I normally use, but this has how many things of caffeine? 250. 250, and then this has 50 megs of caffeine, so it doesn't really, it's not very stimulant. I've already had a shaken espresso and a C4 today. So I've had a solid like four or 500 megs of caffeine. So we're going with this one. So Nike Blazers, Alpha Lee Amplify, Alpha Land, Summer Shredding Shirt. Here's the fit. Do I look like an influencer? I have this camera. I have this camera. I have my tripod. We did that. Originally, I was supposed to be at this game at like 10, but he just texted me and said, try for like eight or like nine. I have fasted cardio tomorrow morning and I can't miss it. So I have to get to bed because I'm gonna have to get up at like six. That was kind of like a day in the life. Nice leg workout, killed me inside, I'm ready for bed. But I hope that you guys enjoy this. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe so that you don't miss another upload. I know I say this all the time, I'm really gonna try to get on here more often for you guys. Love YouTube, miss it. But, all right guys, see ya.